Welcome once again to another edition of Subject Maths. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends and family about subjectmaths.com. Okay, so let's get started. Solutions to past questions on waves. So to do with the learning waves. The diagram below shows this and um, energy is transparent from x to y we have the time the time is given and we are asked to find the frequency of the wave so let's get started t is 2.5 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 and uh, f which is the frequency is what we don't know from here we can get our weight lambda which is the wavelength how we have a crest and a trough this is one from here to here is one wavelength from this place to this place is another one wavelength one lambda and then here we have only half so all together we have one plus one then half so we have two and half as our wavelength so you remember you recall the formula that says f equals to number of wavelengths over time taking number of wavelength over time taking so we have a two and a half which is 2.5 over the time taking is 2.5 times 10 raised to power minus three seconds so if you divide this i'm going to have one times 10 raised to power three earth which is um the frequency the second question here says a wave travels at a distance of um, this in time three seconds the distance between crest and the trough that is the wavelength is equal to four centimeters so they ask us to find the frequency of the wave so we are written out our parameters from here. So you recall from the, from the formula that says wave speed is equal to wave distance over time taken. We are asked to find frequency, but we don't have the speed. So let's find this. The wave speed, which is equal to wave distance is equal to 20. Time taken is equal to 3, and this will give me 6.67. This will give me 6.67 centimeter per second. That's the wave speed. Now I'll go ahead from this equation that says V is equal to F lambda. Now we have to find the frequency, which is uh, F. Make that the subject of the formula, then we have V over lambda, and that will give me, we have our V here to be 6.67 over, the lambda here is 4. So by the time we multiply, divide this, we have 1.67 Hz as our frequency. So the next question here says, a bolt is rocked by wave speed of this, the successive crest are packed. That's the lambda, which is the wavelength. We have that. And we're asked to find the rate at which the boat receive rate. That's the frequency. So we have to find the frequency. This is a very direct question. So we just use V is equals to F lambda. So our V, from here, we make heavy subject of the formula. So we have V is 30 and the lambda is 10. We have 3 Hertz. So our frequency is equal to 3 Hertz, which is the rate at which the boat receives the wave is 3 Hertz. Now, the fourth question says we are giving the progressive wave equation. This, I'm just going to write it out. We are asked to find the wavelength. Okay, so what we do is 
we compare this with the stationary wave equation, this part, comparing it with the equation we have, with this equation that says a sine 2 pi ft minus 2 pi over lambda. So we compare this, we compare this to this. this is, if you look at this equation, you see that this one is the one that has lambda, which is the wavelength we have to find. So you, you equate this to this, not this, because it's carrying what we have to find. So we have 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.4x is equal to 2 pi x over lambda. There should be x here, sorry. So from here, x cancels x. Then I have 0 0.4 lambda equals to 2 pi. So my lambda here is equals to 2 pi over 0 0.4. And that will give you 2 pi is less than 2 times 3.142. Over 0.4, and that will give me 15.71 meters. So the wavelength is equal to 15.71 meters. Question 5 here says a wave has an amplitude equal to 4.0, the face angle 2 pi over 3. That's the face angle. The first angle is equal to k, and that's 2 pi over 3 rad. The angular speed is w, which equals to 1 over 3 pi rad. So the question says, find the displacement y of the wave. Indirectly, they're asking us to write the equation of the stationary dance, w, y is equal to something of this form. A sine WT minus KX. So, we are asked to write an equation of this form. From here, our Y is equal to A is the amplitude. So, wherever you see A, you put 4. Sine, the WT, this is W, that's 1 over 3. That's 1 over 3 t minus kx. This is k, that's 2 pi x over 3. Okay, so from here we can factorize. We have 4 sine. What's common to both? Um, sorry, there should be pi here. So if you look at this, you see that pi over 3 is common. Pi over 3, pi over 3. So we bring it out, pi over 3. Then we are left with t minus. When you bring out pi over 3, we have 2x here. We have 2x there. So, and that gives us a... Um, Our y, which is this. The next question here says that a traveling wave moving from right to left has an amplitude of this, our amplitude, frequency, and the wavelength as this. So we are asked to write the equation just like this other one. So from here, we compare it with y is equal to a sine 2 pi over lambda x minus pt. You know, we have different forms of stationary wave equation. This is one form. This is another form. So depending on what you are given, that will determine which one of them we are to use. Okay, so we have a, that is... Uh, 0 0.15 sine 2 pi over lambda. I'm just going to put my 2 pi over the lambda is 0 0.01. X 
minus vt minus v do we have our v yes we can calculate v from here you recall that v is equal to f lambda recall v is equal to f lambda so we have 550 times the lambda is 0 0.01 so by the time you multiply this we have 5.5 liter per second so we come back here and put in our v which is 5.5 t so the equation becomes 0 0.15 sine 15 sine this will give me um, 200 pi x minus 5.5 t so that's the equation that describes the wave question 7 here says distance between two points in phase on the progressive wave is this 5 cm that is x the distance and the speed of the wave is given as this so we have to find the period t okay first we need to change this to meters change 5 centimeters to meters divide by 100 that will give me 0 0.05 meters okay having done that you recall the formula that says wave speed is equal to wave distance of our time taking. Of our time taking. So our speed is equal to the wave distance, which is 0 0.05 over time taking. That is T. The wave speed is 0 0.20. So by the time we cross multiply and make t the subject of formula, we have t is equal to, okay, let me just do it this way. So from here, t is equal to 0 0.05 over 0 0.20, which will give me 0 0.25 seconds. So the time, which is the period, is equal to 0 0.25 seconds. I want to believe that is very clear. The next question says a radio wave has wavelength, this, and the um, radio wave velocity, which is this. So find the frequency. This is a very direct question. You recall that V is equal to F lambda. So from here, you make head the subject of the formula. We have V over lambda is equal to our V is 3 times 10 raised to power 8 over. Lambda is 150. So by the time you divide this, we have 2 times 10 raised to the power 6 Earth, which is the frequency. Question 9 here says the frequency of the wave in the diagram below is dash. Okay, so from this diagram, uh, frequency we have to find it. The T here. If you look at where the waves stop here, that's four seconds. The time taking there is four. And you recall that frequency is equal to one over t. So frequency is equal to one over four, and that will give us 0 0.25 Earth. It's simple. Okay, it's as simple as that. The last question says, if a light wave has a wavelength of 500 nanometers, nanometers, lambda is equal to 500 nanometers, what's the frequency? Now, first we need to change nano to meter, nanometers to meter. So to do that, we have 500 nano means 10 raised to power minus 9. So we multiply this by 10 raised to power minus 9. So we have changed this to meters now. Then we move on to find the frequency from V is equal to F lambda. We know that our V, which is the speed of the light, is 3 times 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. That's the standard speed of light in the vacuum. 
So we make F the socket of the formula here. We have V over lambda. V is 3 times 7 to the power 8 all over the lambda. 500 times 10 to the power minus 9. And this will give me 6 times 10 to the power 14 Earths. So the frequency of the wave is equal to 6 times 10 to the power. 14 Earths. Okay, so I want to believe you have learned one or two things. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends and families about such a time. Thanks for watching. See you.